This is Cybert signing into Red Alert 3 on the map Magmageddon for some classic 3v3 action on the left side. Making up our first player in team number one, this is Dutch Army as the red allies, as the purple empire, this is GGOT. And in the south, making up team number one, rounding us out with a Soviet, this is Dimon. Heading over to the south, team number two is the Green Empire. It's Aurora. In the middle as the Cyan Empire, it's Bashley, B. Ashley. And in the north as the Blue, also Empire, this is Andre. One Soviet, one Allies, one Empire versus a team of unified triple Tangu players. Double flak troopers going to be jumping on this barracks coming in here from Aurora and immediately getting shut down. Everyone does this, and every once in a while you see it actually turn into something. This was not one of those once in a whiles. You know, the sneaky sneaky dojos, like I said, everyone tries them. But rarely does it actually work out. Ooh, this is a sneaky dojo that may end up working out, especially since the MCV is already on the move, although Dutch Army didn't actually drive that far away from his main. Also, good on Demon dropping a power plant in his ally's base, which means, of course, he can drop flak cannons, he can drop Tesla coils, anything like that, if he so chooses. Of course, a couple of stingrays down here in the south, that's actually a bear, but there are stingrays on the way. A couple of oiled Eric's haven't quite been claimed just yet, but most of them have. Tangu's going to be coming in for the harass. Multigunner Turk going to be going down, and the Tangu does take that Harvester with it. So Dutch Army going to be down one Harvester. Did not restart that, so he thought he could save it. And as a result, he is going to have that Harvester off the line for a little while. Of course, having to rebuild it is annoying, but also, you know, having the lost mining time just makes it that much more annoying. Wall's going to be coming down from Andre as well. And uh, Stingray is going to be going for a little bit of a kill on this MCV, although it will get the crush on both Stingrays. No problem there. And these Flak Troopers are also sort of ill-fated as they won't last too much longer. Everything getting cleaned up. A little bit of a sneaky attack coming in here from G-Got, and it is going to be dealt with by Bashley. A couple of Tangus will get overwhelmed by some of the Tank Busters, but of course that Honorable Discharge is going to be allowing them to cut through those Tank Buster ranks, no problem. Bashley will remain safe for now, although this Oil Derrick may not remember, remain under Bashley's control for very much longer. Andre going to be pushing off a couple of Peacekeeper forces from Dutch Army up here in the north, and eventually that Dojo Corps is going to be moving in. Uh, oh, that's a sudden transport. That's why he's attacking that. That's why Bashley seems to be killing his own Tangu. And that sudden transport, I think, was empty as everything inside of it had already died. Bashley going to be losing the Vindicator. A little bit unfortunate there. Aurora moving out and also going to be able to grab the Oil Derrick away from Demon. His Bear Roar just a little bit too late to save that. And goodbye, Tangu. Demon activates the armor and safely does as little damage as, uh, as is possible with that Tangu. Well, so much for the Dojo Core. It does get eliminated, and unfortunately enough there. Harassment once again going to be coming in from Andre. Andre, big commitment to that Tangu cloud flying everywhere, trying to harass what he can. And it uh, looks like... Aurora going to be recapturing that oil derrick, gaining it back, I think, from G-God, actually. Bullfrog's coming out. More Tangus harassing both in the north and in the south. Our team on the right side, they are certainly ahead when it comes to harassment. Although, as our team on the left side is getting a little bit... Uh, more robust armies, they're able to deal with the harassment that much more easily. Aurora, with a little bit of a tank buster surprise, going to be loading up a sudden transport with a number of tank busters trying to get the drop on Demon. It didn't quite work out, and now that these twin blades are here, they will be able to cut down that sudden transport. The bear gets the stop on all three of those tank busters, and this attack is completely shut down. A big loss there for Aurora couple thousand credits down the drain. Once again, Dutch Army struggling to actually get his economy up and running. 
twice in this game, having uh, a little bit of lost mining time there with those harassing Tangus, and this refinery still is not back online. Of course, he does deploy uh, that one prospector, and he is rebuilding it now, but a lot of lost mining time for Dutch Army. He's going to he's gonna be find it hard-pressed. He's going to be hard-pressed to actually get anything up and running. G got getting the drop on Andres. Tangu's in over, over their opponent's territory as well. Going to be stopping the walls from going down there. Could even be worth it killing off the Defender Core instead of going for the Harvester right away. You did have the Freeze going on as well. But on the left side, more harassment going to be coming in. This time it's Bashley manning the guns of this Tangu, trying to take down this Harvesters. But it's actually going to be two against one. Harvesters against a Tangu. As once again, Andre defending himself from the Tangu harass of his opponent. G, G got not necessarily getting a lot of mileage out of his Tangus. And it looks like finally Bashley was able to kill a Harvester and even a Bullfrog with that Tangu. Going to be passing along that veteran status to that twin blade. A little bit of light harass in the north, but it looks like nothing really came of it. G got going to try and. Well, actually, this could be a bit of a combo attack from Dutch Army and G got. Demon reclaiming this oil derrick, but eventually losing it in the south. That oil derrick has changed hands so many times over the course of this game. Unfortunately for Dutch Army and G God, it looks like the timing was not right just yet. A little bit of a harassment force being dealt with by G God. Once again, Dutch Army really unable to get his economy under under control. Losing another harvester here on the front line. Four refineries and an oil derrick, but at any one time he probably has the Actual income of about two refineries between everything that he has got going on. Once again, Andre moving in for the harass. Down here in the south, a little bit of attack coming in, I'm guessing, from Dimon, but it was shut down by this chopper VXs or the strikers, rather, of Aurora. Bashley going to be getting a kill there in the middle. And eventually, Andre does get pushed back out away from the base of Dutch Army. Fourth refinery up and running relatively soon here from G Got, and it looks like Demon already sitting on those four refineries plus that oil derrick, having lost the other oil derrick. Aurora with a decent force moving out, but up here in the north, Dutch Army going to be trading a couple of shots with, well, maybe uh, the catalyst, the catalyst missile, not quite. The uh, cryo shot will have something to say about that engagement. Once again, Demon's MCV a little bit vulnerable here. One Tesla coil is here, but not much of a ground army for Demon. He's going to be trying to body block with a war factory right here on the front lines. He definitely doesn't want to lose that if he can have anything to say about it. Tesla Trooper is going to be locking down three vehicles here, and three more vehicles going to be getting locked down by Demon. Just enough buying of the time with that war factory. A very nice body block there by Demon. This is actually kind of a pointless attack. Nope, now that the Tangus are here, but they actually transform directly into the no no zones of those Tesla Troopers. So uh, that was about as bad of a situation as you could hope for Aurora. Very unfortunate decision making there by Aurora. And now G got going to be coming in for a big attack here. Point defense drones on top of these Tangus. And he does have the numbers even against the combined forces of Vashley and Aurora. He could probably take that engagement or it would be very close. But the reinforcements coming in from Aurora would certainly swing the tide into their favor. Here's going to be the escape attempt. And the cooldown is not fast enough for Bashley. Although there's the turn by G got and he's going to engage in the sky with the help of an Apollo he should be able to cut through the forces of Bashley and Bashley making a little bit of a mistake there but with the reinforcements from Bashley he may be able to come out even though the point defense drones are just too good I mean the Apollo really swings things into the favor of G got but I thought those reinforcements from Bashley were going to bring things much closer to even but it was not so Bashley thinking much like myself that that would have been a closer engagement and it was not G God I think just snuck in and stole the MCV of Bashley this looks like an MCV cell which means or steel which means Bashley is very unfortunately going to be without an MCV in this uh well I was going to say cash back but as this MCV drops in health there isn't going to be much cash for G got to get back 
from this MCV. So it's just going to be deny of the MCV. Going to be tying up that War Factory if Bashley decides to rebuild it. It's just Bullfrogs and a single Twin Blade going to be the response for this by Demon. He's going to be losing the Twin Blade right out of the gate. But a big transform of those Tangus leaves them vulnerable to the fire of those Bullfrogs. Team left side starting to shape up with Dumont's handling of this engagement here, followed up by Bashley getting his MCV capped and then having to shoot it himself. That's going to be very unfortunate. Bashley, the harassment is not over. He is going to be able to kill this engineer with a transform, a surround of the Tangus. And that's one of those moments where you desperately, desperately hope that you haven't just transform your, transformed your Tangus and then you miss the opportunity to actually get the kill on the engineer while it's in the air and you're hopeless as you watch the engineer cap your war factory. That's something I would do, but Bashley, a little bit more on top of it than that. Aurora starting to make some headway against Demon. Now Demon has always had a weak ground army, so actually dealing with the forces of Aurora is a little bit of a problem here. Going to be losing the airfield. I don't know how much more Aurora will be able to get. Aurora does have pretty good Tengu numbers, but not necessarily against a uh, Soviet player with Stingrays and an MCV that can pack up and run around and, of course, get free repairs from the Crusher Crane. Tesla Coil getting charged up by the Tesla Troopers, hanging out nearby it. In the middle, once again, more harassment coming in from Bashley. And uh, Bashley and Andre really hitting that harassment train pretty hard. A giant battle up here in the north. Tanks on both sides versus tanks of just Andre. And Andre, unfortunately, in a 2v1 situation with a cryo shot on the side of the Allies, is not going to have a resounding victory. Should be able to hold here especially with reinforcements getting in on this. The King Oni definitely doing a good job of absorbing a lot of damage, but this won't be a crushing defeat of Dutch Army and G-Got. Although with Aurora showing up and no anti-air really, as I say that, Dutch Army flies in a single Apollo, which is able to escape. And Dutch Army has been routed, but of course this was not necessarily a crushing loss of the army, and it, certainly with those kind of numbers, Andre can't just walk across the map and win the game. Although, a couple of more King Onis could have something to say about that. Going to get the bull rush on a couple of infantry there. Tangus from G got going to be going for the kill of the Harvester. They don't quite get it. The repair is good enough, and the second Harvester will almost certainly be going down as G got with the double Harvester harass will be able to make it work with one of them. Gets the kill on the Harvester and then gets on out of there. And that is going to be unfortunate for Andre, who is also taking quite a bit of Harvester harassment. And just a lot of Harvester harassment in general going on in the north. Tier 3 getting caught out. A mainframe core just being caught by Bashley. What a great find by him. G got totally forgetting about this and narrowly does get saved by the Twin Blades of Demon. Demon, he uh, he kind of owes, or uh, G got owes Demon quite a thank you for saving his Tier 3 in that way. Tesla Coil goes down, and it looks like the Bullfrogs are going to clean up at least one Chopper VX. The other one is going to need to transform to push away these Bullfrogs, or these Twin Blades, rather. The Tangus getting caught out in the open waters by the Stingrays as the Tangus now going to be making their way on land and where they will trade a little bit better against these Stingrays. Tangus showing up for G got to finish off the air forces of Aurora, and Aurora's army is looking pretty small. Aurora is looking pretty vulnerable, losing this refinery almost certainly to the combined forces of and in this case, it's actually going to be a Twin Blade Bullfrog Stingray combo from Demon, which, of course, the Twin Frog combo is loved by everyone, and uh, people in team games often spam as many Twin Frogs as they possibly can. But Demon is clever. He mixes in a couple of Stingrays in there as well because he's better than the rest of us. A lot of DPS in this army, but not necessarily a lot of health in this army. The Mirage Tanks and the Guardian Tanks are going to be able to stand up against these Tangu forces coming in here for Bashley. And unfortunately for Bashley, he does not have the firepower to cut through this army. The infantry pretty much all got cleaned up with the J, which was a serious chunk of the DPS. G got at the same time going to be harassing Bashley here in his main base. And G got definitely has the overwhelming forces in this case. Bashley going to be controlling his Tangus to try and get as much value as he possibly can, but it's sort of fighting an uphill battle in this case when you've got this many Tangus on your front door and you have not been able to beat them back. 
Dimon going to be pulling back from the south. Bashley has been defeated, going for a bit of harassment there at the last possible second, and everything gets transferred over to Andre. So Andre is going to have some kind of double empire army to try and make something happen with. And anytime you're in a 3v2 situation, you quickly, quickly want to try and equalize that out to be a 2v2 situation. So if they could join forces somehow and kill either Gigot or Dutch army, then it would definitely be a little bit more of an even fight. But uh, it's going to be a tall order to defeat Dimon on any day of the week. And I don't know if Andre and uh, Aurora are up for that, but they may very well be. Uh, it's, looking, it's looking pretty difficult at this point, but we've seen some pretty crazy comebacks in the past. We've seen some players uh, mount some pretty crazy defenses and then turn around and do something wild. Uh, it's it's going to be hard as Demon takes an additional refinery. I think this is like his sixth refinery or something. Four there, yeah, two more there. So Demon is going to be looking pretty darn good economy-wise. Doesn't have any oil derricks. Did get cleaned up. It looks like there is still at least one oil derrick, two oil derricks, and three oil derricks still out here on the map. Demon cleaning up whatever that was. Maybe a couple of Tsunami tanks from Aurora. Nevercheese, a.k.a. Andre, has been defeated. Aurora has also been defeated. And that will do it. Quite an action-packed 3v3. 3v3, but uh, maybe the last couple of minutes a little bit less so, as things were definitely swinging to the favor of Demon, Gigant, and, uh, and Dutch Army. Solid performance by Demon and Dutch Army. Feeling a little bit underperforming until maybe the last two or three minutes there, but that definitely, I think, would be would have something to do with the amount of harassment he received. Yeah, underperforming everyone in the economy front until the 10, 11, 12 minute mark where he actually started to catch up with Aurora. And Aurora, I guess, never really did got his, get his economy up and running very much. Just relying on those tangos and never quite able to make it happen. But, of course, he was directly across from Demon, and that's just a difficult thing to do any day of the week, as I said. So that will do it for this 3v3. Hope you guys enjoyed this action-packed match. Thank you all very much for watching, and this is Cybert, signing out.